Hi friends, this is Sunil Jani Pawar of Chandra Yogini Jyotish. Today I will be discussing on the topic named Yog Karak Planets or Yog Karak Rama in the chart. You know there are difference of opinion regarding the followings of uh, uh, Yog Karagra, how to follow it, how to understand it. Uh, people have their own views, they have, they have their own aspects to look at this Yog Karagra. But what is the basic meaning or basic concept of Yog Karagra? The Yog Karagra, Yog Karak, Karak means Karne Wala. Karak means deed. The Graha who is going to make good deeds. Yog means Senyo. So Yog Karak Graha means the planet which is beneficiary and supporting you in your prosperity, in your good life and for all good deeds, for all happiness, for all success in your life. So all Lagnas have been given particular Yoga Karagrahas according to our Shastra. Mr. Gopesh Kumar Oza have written wonderful regarding Yoga Karagraha in his book Trifala. Yoga Karagraha uh, for all uh, uh, Mesha to mean Lagna, it is decided that particular planets will be Yoga Karak in particular chart. In basic fundamentals, in all the charts, 5th, 9th and Kendra Sun, that means Lakshmi Sun and Kendra Sun are Shubha Sun in the chart. Uh, in other words, I will say, Mm. All the Trikon uh, Swan Swami, all the trying laws in the chart, that means first, ho first house law, that means ascendant, fifth law, and ninth law. All three are counted as Shubh in that chart, but not Yoga Karma for all the charts. They can be called Shubh because they are or their zodiacs or the particular planets comes in 5th, 9th bhava and it fructifies to that native. But for Yogkara Graha, different different planets have been described. So I will be talking from Mesh Lagna to Meena Lagna about Yogkara Graha. Now we will take Mesh Lagna as a first lagna in Karpurush Kundali also and as per uh, first zodiac also. So in Mesh lagna, the lagnesh, the ascendant is Mars, Mangal. Now one more thing we have to keep in mind is that for all lagnas, lagnesh is always counted Shubh, not Yogkar. Lagnesh is always Shubh to fructify in its Dasha Antar. Because as per the rules, these planets fructify or boost or support most in its uh, dasha antar gocha to the native. Not always. Otherwise, uh, if Venus is good in the chart, but if its dasha is not coming, it won't fructify to the uh, native properly. You know? So, its dasha has to come. Its under dasha has to come. Or in gocha, uh, it should come in, in shubha aspect or in uh, beneficiary aspect or in... Uh, uh, good UT, uh, good uh, conjunction. Okay, so that time it will fructify, not before that. It will give all its uh, gunadharma or uh, uh, properties to the uh, native, but not, not uh, fructifying in full. So we'll come again to the Mesh Lagna. Now uh, I would like to uh, say here that uh, for each house, for each bhava, a uh, particular uh, uh, ank, gunank is given like uh, four Kendra sun, first bhava, fourth bhava, seventh bhava and tenth bhava. So all these are Kendra sun. So it has been given 
one mark, two mark, three mark, and four marks to all four bhavas. Then we will come to Trikonsa, that is fifth bhav and ninth bhav. So for fifth bhav, we have given plus two marks, and for ninth bhav, we have given plus three marks. Now remaining are the Trikshanas in the chart. They are 6, 8 and 12th bhava. So for 6th bhava, minus 2 marks. For 8th bhava, minus 4 marks. For 11th bhava, which is Kama Trikona also. And which is called as Dependent Bhava also. It is given minus 3 marks. And 3rd bhava, which is 8th to 8th is given minus 1 and the last two bhavas are second and twelfth bhav they are given neutral marks means zero marks they don't uh, give any particular values as per your karagraha if not valid in that chart so now we will come to mesh lagna so for mesh lagna being lagnesh mars is should planet as it is house uh, oh, sorry as it is a uh, uh, zodiac of uh, eighth bhava also that is scorpio the lord of scorpio is also mars so mars is fructifying here but not in, not in full extent so it is only should planet we think of the lagnesh dasha will be good for the meeting okay not uh, yoga character how will come then uh, we come to second bhava that is uh, Taurus, Rusha. The lord of it is Venus and the second zodiac of Venus comes in seventh bhava. So Taurus and Libra are in Maraksana. These zodiacs are in Maraksana. So for Mesh people, Venus is not at all Yoga Karak planet until and unless it is making any Shubha aspect or Shubha Yuti or Shubha Yoga with any other Shubha planets. It will only work as a Shubha planet for particular combinations. So we can say conditions apply. But Venus is not Yoga in Vesh Then we will come to third Zodiac which is Mituna or uh, Gemini. The lord of it is Mercury and another Zodiac of Mercury comes in 6th Bhava that is Rogasthan. So 3rd Bhava is 8th to 8th Bhava. 6th okay. Bhava is one of the uh, Trik Sun, Dukkad Sun, you can say Rogue Sun, Shatru Sun. So Mercury Zodiac is in 6th bow and in 3rd bow. Uh, it will give good speed to the uh, native, uh, native will be good speaker or you can say native will work for computers or native will be good in uh, technical knowledge, this, that. But being Lord of Trik Sun, and being Lord of Trishadai, it won't fructify to the native in full strength. So for Mesh Lagna, Mercury can be sure, but not Yoga. Now we will come to fourth Bhava, where Zodiac of Cancer, Karp Rashi is there. The Lord of Cancer is Chandra, Moon. So, automatically the Karak planet Zodiac is coming in 4th Bhava. As 4th Bhava is Karak, Sthan of Chandra, Mother's House, Sukha Sthan. Night sleep after uh, 12 o'clock, 12 to 2 sleep we see from 4th uh, Bhava. So, Chandra, we can say, is a Shubha planet in Mesh Lagna. 
but it is not yoga karan because chandra can be placed anywhere in the uh, chart but why i am saying it should be planet because it is a owner of kendra sthan and as per parashar whenever shubha planets comes in for, uh, fourth bhava or in kendra sthana it gives good result particularly for chandra i am talking because chandra doesn't have any dosha chandra and surya don't have any particular dosha with them otherwise as per the rules uh, uh, papagraha plays very uh, crucial role uh, coming into kendra and it will give good results to the meeting so chandra is shubh in mesh lagna then we will come to fifth bhava we can see surya rashi or sun zodiac is there that is leo singh rashi and the lord of singh rashi lord of leo is surya sun being lord of fifth bhava and trikona sthan we have got plus 2 marks for this sthan so it is ati shubh ati yog karak and first yog karak planet in mesh lagna this first yog karak planet in mesh lagna surya wherever placed in the chart will definitely give good results in mesh lagna now for here also some conditions are there but uh, very uh, uh, these conditions are uh, in between giving the fruits to the native up to how much of percentage it will definitely fructify wherever it is placed in that chart but if it is placed in kendra or trikona it will fructify at its most to that native in its dasha antar everywhere so surya is first yoga graha for mesh lagna vidhi then wherever it will make yuti with wherever it will make uh, uh, conjunction i mean to say or wherever uh, wherever it has good aspect or bad aspect it doesn't matter even though it is in trik sthan it will fructify well to that need then again now we will come to sixth bhava we have already discussed about mercury then we will come to seventh bhava we have already discussed about venus then we will come to eighth bhava we have already discussed about mars then we will come to ninth bhava of mesh lagna which has sagittarius dhanu rashi in it as dhanu rashi is in ninth bhava it is becoming pure in this lagna i would say that as another uh, zodiac of uh, jupiter falls in 12th bhava that is pisces mean and 12th bhava is a trik sthan also uh, 12th bhava is a paravalambi also dependent bhava also and 12th bhava planet uh, are always neutral in its effects but being lord of bhagya sthan ninth bhava this is the second most yog karak graha in mesh lagna first is surya we already discussed about it and second is jupiter is yog karak planet in that chart but for jupiter i will say that particular position of jupiter has to be seen in this chart if it is placed in trikona or kendra it will fructify at its best and for this yog karak fruits this jupiter if comes in connection with surya if this jupiter comes in connection with surya it will fructify like anything to that native that native will be on top of the world we have seen so many charts fructifying surya and guru in the chart but at the same time we have seen people having ninth bhava jupiter still they are the sufferers because of other graha bad combination but jupiter will fructify to that native so second most yog karak graha in mesh lagna is jupiter guru now we we'll come to 10th bhava 
there is a zodiac of capricorn makar rashi comes in that so for makar rashi for capricorn the lord of makar rashi is saturn shani shani maharaj ki jai to for mesh lagna being the lord of kendra bhav being the lord of dasham bhav being the lord of karma bhav as we see all our uh, karma whatever work we are going to do in our life it is a karma sign many people uh, follow to see pita bhav or to see father's condition from 10th bhav they see so being a lord of 10th bhav and being the lord of 11th bhav also house of gain house of desires house of ichha ichha bhav labh san we call it gains what we are going to get in our life so saturn so here these people will get slow and steady gains in their life but as levit bhava comes in prishraya so we have got minus 3 marks there and here we have plus 4 marks tenth bhava so saturn is not yog karan graha in mesh lagna why saturn is not yog karan graha another reason is that for it that saturn is debilitated in mesha as it exalts in libra so as per the rules as per lagu parashar saturn is debilitated in mesha so for mesh lagna saturn will not fructify as yog karan graha let me clear this if in any chart saturn is in libra then you will say or it is exalted then how it will not fructify it will definitely fructify to the native but this is not the yog karan planet for mesh lagna it may be good in d9 also it may be good in d1 also it may be good in d10 also saturn but it is not yog karak in the chart and then last but not the least it is 12 bhava jupiter already we have discussed about it so at the ultimate what we will say the yog karak planet in mesh lagna are first surya second is jupiter third is chandra shubh planet fourth is mars shubh planet fifth is saturn mixed fruits sixth is mercury mixed fruits and seventh is venus mixed fruits as rahu ketu are not counted for yog karagra and uh, any uh, definition or any vyakhya in our shastra regarding rahu ketu are not given but as per modern astrology we all people follow all uti and all uh, aspect and uh, uh, all combinations with rahu ketu that we can see later on so today i will finish my today's session of yog karagra of mesh lagna and next we will see about taurus lagna hope you all like it let me know if any uh, improvisation is to be done because this is my first video i am making so may, maybe many mistakes must have been done so i appeal all of you to improve me to suggest me and to guide me and let me know how you find this session thank you so much dhanyawad namaste